want the penguins to be serving it though. Oh, whoa, it's like little bow ties. That, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're already so dressed up for the yep. occasion. All okay, right, let's, let's get serious though and talk yep. about Milton because we've been watching it on our streaming yeah. all day long on 6 Plus yep. and um, thinking it's about weakening. everybody in Florida, yeah. Yeah, and, and remember, if, if, you, if you want to keep track of this too, I mean, you can go on our 6 Plus app, like Lindsay just said. We are streaming content from our sister station, WTSP, uh, out of Tampa, and they, they've been going strong all day, and they're going to keep going throughout the night. So, like Lindsay said, 6 Plus is the place to be if you want to get more information on Milton. Right now, winds are sustained at 105. That's good news, believe it or not, because the winds were at about 120 to 125 when it came on shore, right around 7.30, hour time, 8.30, uh, Florida time. So so again, things are deteriorating, and that is what happens when these storms come on shore. It will continue to weaken as it moves across the I-4 corridor here towards Orlando and then eventually towards uh, uh, Canaveral and then back out to sea. We're still looking for it to be about a Category 1 hurricane by the time it makes it back out into the Atlantic. So that's where we are right now. A lot of impacts from the storm. You can see it is continuing to move fairly quickly, about 16 to 17 miles per hour across the peninsula here. We're starting to see that backside come on shore, and I told you during first weather that backside can be just as bad as the front side because now the winds are coming in from the Gulf back in towards the bay and back in towards Tampa. And of course, those southern communities like Bradenton, Sarasota, Fort Myers, etc. as you move down the west coast of Florida. So what have we seen so far? Well, take a look at this. Some of your observed wind gusts from the day. Sarasota is an observed wind gust of 92, Bradenton 91, 89 mile an hour wind gust there in St. Petersburg, 50 up in Tampa. And remember, these are just from our official reporting stations. There could be higher gusts than that in between these stations. Again, I, I've seen reports of as high as 110 along the coast early today and it's not just the straight line winds you have to watch out for with, tor with the hurricanes. You also do have to watch out for tornadoes, especially in those outer bands. You saw our store earlier saying there was about 19 tornado reports and again, most of them along the coast, but then again, about five of them there within the uh, vicinity of Lake Okeechobee and then a couple up towards Melbourne as well. And you can see just behind our nameplate there two tornado reports in Fort Myers. So a lot going on with this storm today and it continues to drop rain as well. Take a look here up towards Clearwater 8.2 inches so far. 9.6 in St. Petersburg, 7.7 there in Bradenton, six and a half inches down in uh, Sarasota. So a lot of rain falling with a storm on top of everything else, and we are still expecting more rain uh, as the storm continues to move across. And again, that storm surge again, we're looking at about six feet through the Tampa Bay area, but from Sarasota down to Cape Coral again, up to about 12 feet of storm surge possible here as the uh, backside of that eye wall continues to move on shore. This is updated by the way, so we've already shown you the uh, six to 10 inches that have fallen already, and we're still expecting another five to 10 there in the I-4 corridor. So a lot of rain expected with this storm as well. So that's a look at Milton. Let's talk about our weather very quickly here. 75 out there right now. Southeast winds at about three, so it's very calm. I was out at the fair earlier, of course, and when the wind wasn't blowing, it did feel a little bit warm across the area. By tomorrow morning, upper 50s, lower 60s. Tomorrow afternoon, back into the lower 90s. Now I do have to warn you about this. It is going to be dry and we are starting to see that vegetation start to dry out. So the uh, Texas A&M Forest Service uh, is showing a high to very high threat for fire danger as we head through the next couple of days. So keep that in mind. Outdoor burning very much discouraged right now because our vegetation is dry and our humidity is staying very low. So keep that in mind even higher than that as we head into the day on Friday. Now for your seven day forecast, things are going to stay warm. In fact, warmer as we head into the weekend. But after that, our first taste of fall as a stronger cold front comes through at the beginning of next week. Remember, you can get your forecast anytime you want it by downloading our free 6 Plus app on Roku, Apple TV, and on the Amazon Fire Stick as well.